Track and Field fans, once you hear this voice, once you hear HP's voice, you know that it is all about track and field. Yes, Jamaica's track and field legacy is what I am here about. Did you know that Jamaica's rich legacy in track and field started 75 years ago? Yes, it did. Jamaica as a country competed at the highest level of track and field back in 1940. Which would be 75 years ago. Jamaica became a member of the International Committee in 1936, which is the IOC, and our organization in Jamaica is the JOA, which is the Jamaica Olympic Association. Even though Jamaica had its independent Olympic body, the Jamaican flag was not black, green, and gold or yellow. It was actually red, blue, and white. And if you're wondering why it was red, blue, and white, it is because of Jamaica's affiliation to the British Empire. But uh, that color was short-lived because in 1962, when the island gain independence. Of course, the colors of the flag were changed to um, black, green, and gold or yellow, if you want to call it that. If you're wondering, though, how or why did it take Jamaica so long to compete at the Olympics in 1948, considering that we became a member of the IOC in 1936, World War II happened. Yes, World War II happened. World War II started back in 1939. So because of that, the Olympics leading up to 1940 and 1944, they were canceled as a result of the war because the war lasted for uh, six years, six years plus. It started in 1939 in September and it ended 1945. So you can say six years to six plus years. But finally, yep, finally, track and field uh, fans around the world were happy again because the game resumed in 1948. And guess what? Jamaica was there in living colors. And of course, it was a very small team at the time. We we're talking about back in 1948. So it was a small team with 13 athletes, 10 for athletics or track and field, if you want to call it that, and three between boxing and um, and weightlifting. Uh, we did make a lot of noise, yes. For those of you who might not know the history, Jamaica made a lot of noise at our first Olympic game back in 1948. And this was kind of how the rivalry between Jamaica and the United States, especially among the sprinters, started. And even though um, even though our women are the one who are doing consistently well, brilliantly well, and rewriting history every time they touch the track, this rich legacy actually started with our men back in 1948. They started the party. Yes, it was the men who started bringing home the bacon, the silverware, the medals, whatever you want to call it. It was actually our men who started bringing home medals for Jamaica. The men went on quest for medal at the London Olympics, which is 1948, as I said before. And we did not, or they did not disappoint because the Calabar pair of Arthur Wind and Herb McKinley won gold and silver respectively in the 400 meters, relegating the American to third. A lot of people might be saying, we did? Yes, we did. Gold and silver, we won a quinella at our first opening in the 400 meters. So Jamaica's dominance, our legacy started in 1948. It's not just now. We're talking about 70 plus years ago, 75 years ago. A matter of fact, after Jamaica won that quinella in the 400 meters, they were going for more silverware. This time they were going for the gold in the 4x4. Four four. And guess what? Jamaica had the team to do it because remember now, 
we won the gold in the 400 and we won the silver medal in the 400. So Mr. Arthur Wint and Herb McKinley, they were, they were pumped up and ready. And a matter of fact, Mr. Arthur Wint had also won a silver medal in the 800 meters. So they were ready to go with George Roden and Mr. Leslie. And in case you don't know, they were, um, in top shape they were all in top shape all in top form but of course we were all we were we were smelling the gold medal the gold medal was for us to lose and if if they never had to run that race and give a team the gold medal Jamaica would have been the best bet because in the 400 we took the two top spots for um the 400 meters but unfortunately unforeseen injuries struck and uh, mr leslie on the third leg he pulled up in that race he got injured in that race he pulled up and of course the united states won and jamaica did not medal but listen to this now four years later we went back to the Olympics this time in 1952 in Helsinki, Finland, and Jamaica did a repeat in the 400 meter. We did a repeat of the Quinella. Yes, we did. Jamaica again won gold and silver in the 400. Slightly different this time because this time Mr. George Roden took the gold medal and Mr. Herb McKinley again took the silver medal so of course we went back four years time and did this again and guess what listen to this now team jamaica had the same plan for the four by 400 meter really gold medal and this time they change up the team a little bit the same four gentlemen arthur wind uh herb mckinley leslie and george roden same four from 19 48 and of course again mr wind won a silver medal in the 800 meters remember now he got injured in 1948 he was running on the third leg when he got injured so what they did this time they put mr arthur wind arthur wind was actually the person who started this really and let me tell you something people and i'm sure you know what i'm going to say is that that really from gun to tip jamaica was in large and in charge it was non-stop to the finish line in record time which earned us the gold medal we brought home the gold medal they brought home the gold medal to the little island jamaica and this was what cemented the jamaica usa rivalry that it is still to this day track fans would know that the rivalry between jamaica and the united states still stands so it was the men who started the gold mining they started in the 40s they continue through to the 50s and they came in the 70s so this rich legacy that we're building on that our athletes are building on and that we continue to enjoy it started with our men all the medals won between the 1940s and the 1980s they were all won by our men 1940s 1950s 60s and come into the 70s so coming into the 1980 uh olympic games the women had zero medal our women had zero medal on the table and the men had 12 medals so the men get a jump start with um 12 medals other men in that here in that era who find themselves on the medal podium are Lennox Miller and Donald Quarry in the 60s and the 70s. So all these men won medals for Jamaica leading up to the 1980 Olympics. So for those who did not know, it is not our women, even though the women are doing brilliantly, immaculately um well 
to date, it was actually the men who started this big thing, who started this excitement, who started this quest for metal. So in uh, episode two, I will continue to look at the dominance of the Jamaican men. So I hope you enjoy this um, educating uh n- post sorry i hope you enjoy the first episode of jamaica's rich legacy in track and field walk good see you soon